Okay, guys. Now we have questions 37 to 40. And uh, there are two type of summary completion questions. Number one, summary completion, where you select the word from the passage, that is easy. And number two, summary completion, you select a word from the passage, then you match the word with one of these words here, and then you decide what is the synonym of that word. So this takes more time, right? But don't worry. Anyways, let's do it together. Questions and answers are in order. In summary completion also, any type of completion question, summary completion, flowchart completion, sentence completion, notes completion, table completion, they are going to be in order. Complete the summary using the list of words. The origins of creative behavior. Origins of creative behavior. Let's see if there is anything where we find the origins of creative behavior. Second last paragraph, origin of human innovation. It's not creative behavior. Okay, if you don't find, listen, listen, listen. If you don't find any hints, don't worry. Let's read it together. The traditional view of scientific discovery is that breakthroughs happen when a single great mind has sudden dash. The traditional view of scientific discovery. We read about it in the beginning somewhere. The traditional view of scientific discovery is that breakthrough happens when a single great mind has sudden dash. So please come to this uh, third line, fourth line. First paragraph, fourth line. Conventional, con conventional wisdom also places great weight on insight in promo promoting breakthrough scientific achievement. As if ideas spontaneously pop into someone's head fully formed and functional so what is that as if ideas spontaneously pop into someone's head when ideas pop like aapke dimag mein achanak ek khayal aaya like you know they talk about newton apple fell on his head and he came up with the idea so ideas spontaneously pop into someone's head please come back sudden for sudden they use the word pop into Okay, so let's go on. Now, sudden and pop into ideas. Option A, invention. Yes or no? Yes. No. <laughs> B, goals. No. C, compromise. D, mistakes. Sudden mistakes? Not at all. E, luck. F, inspiration. Very good. Has sudden inspiration. Great mind has sudden impression, uh, inspiration. And for that they use the word as if ideas spontaneously pop into someone's head. Okay. So the answer is inspiration. Option F. Let's go on. Although this can. I'm reading question number 38. Please follow me. Although this can occur. It is not often the case. Advances are more likely to be the result of a longer process. In some cases, this process involves dash, such as Nicholson's theory, okay, about proto elements. And you know, his theory about proto elements was wrong. Let's go back. Please come back. It's paragraph, fourth paragraph. Fourth paragraph, and we are going to read it from fourth line. These successes are, found it? Okay, these successes are all the more noteworthy given the fact that Nicholson was wrong about the presence of proto-elements. Come back. Now we are going to find something for wrong. They say process involves wrong. Yes, option D, mistakes. Very good. Process involves mistakes or he was wrong. Okay, let's go on. I'm reading question number 39. In others, got it? In others, simple necessity may provoke innovation as with West Rope's decision. Now, clue word is West Rope. As if West Rope's decision to modify the position of his writing strips, uh, stirrups. Rising stirrups, there is also often an element of dash, for example, the coincidence of ideas. Element of dash. Element of dash. 
so stirrups and all that please come to fourth uh, fifth last paragraph second page second paragraph second page and second paragraph plenty of other stories got it okay plenty of other stories how that fresh advances can arise from errors yeah okay uh, uh, errors uh, misadventure and also pure serendipity uh, a happy okay they've mentioned they've given the meaning of uh, serendipity a p t that is a happy accident all right let's find something for happy accident for example in the early 1970s two employees of the company 3m all right let's see happy accident wow happy accident is luck that's right so often an element of happy accident and that is for luck all right uh, uh, just a second please let's read question number 39 there is also often an element of dash for example the coincidence of ideas that led to the innovation uh, invention of post it note you know post it note the sticky notes yeah so it's all about post it notes please come back we read this question again plenty of other stories now the clue word is post it notes other stories that fresh in this thing happy accident for example in the early 1970s second paragraph second line please follow me for example in the early 1970s two employees of the company 3m each had a problem spencer silver had a product a glue which was only slightly sticky and no use for it while his colleague art fry was trying to figure out how to affix temporary bookmarks in his him book without damaging its pages so they came up with this idea can you see post it note so this whole thing post it note was a happy accident you know what they made they had a nail polish right and the nail polish was very bad ki jaise hi aap lagate the तो वो उतरना शुरू हो जाती थी सो दे केम अप विद दिस आइडिया कि ये नेल पॉलिश उन खातन के लिए जिन्होंने नमाज पढ़नी होती है दे कैन स्क्रैच इट एंड इट विल बी रिमूव एक्चुअली बाय डिफॉल्ट इट वाज़ द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फॉल्ट इन द नेल पॉलिश दैट यू अप्लाई द नेल पॉलिश आफ्टर सम टाइम वो आपके नाखनों से वैसे ही उतर जाएगी तो उन्होंने उसको बेचने के लिए दे केम अप विद द आइडिया दिस नेल पॉलिश इज फॉर दोज वेमेन हु ऑफर देयर प्रेयर्स रेगुलरली जब मर्जी खुर्चेंगे उतर जाएगी yeah and then they sold more okay so with the sticky note what have you know sticky note dekhiye na book pe lagate hain aur book kharab nahi hoti so what happened uske paas ek aisa glue tha jo chipakta nahi tha right aur dusre ko chahiye tha ek aisa note jo vakti taur pe aap book ke sath chipka le book ko damage bhi na ho so that was a happy accident and for that they use the word luck okay last question okay now we read it from with both the law of nature select uh, natural selection and law of effect they talked about it in the last paragraph theek okay? hai with both the law of natural selection and the law of effect there may be no clear focus no clear law of nature law of effect no clear dash involved but merely a process of variation and selection last paragraph the last three paragraphs they discussed law of effect and law of nature theek hai bilkul last line please come to last line the time seems right for abandoning the naive notions of intelligent design and genius and for scientifically exploring the true origins of creative behavior let's see if it is all right which paragraph is it second last paragraph excellent you found it listen please come to third last paragraph and we are going to read it from uh, let's read it from third last line just like darwin found it uh, it's the third last paragraph and third last line just like darwin's law of natural selection the law of effect involves an entirely mechanical process of variation and selection without any end objective in sight without any end objective in sight 
and for that they say may there may be no clear goal now what is the word for end objective what is end objective end objective is your goal so goal is option b so correct answer is b for that राइट right. आपने कुछ किया भी नहीं है तो लंबी लंबी सांसें ले रहे हैं आप हाँ पक्का आ रहा है